Hi guys, my name is Live Mondo and welcome to this Nightfall Challenge video. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been on for the past couple of days. I had some problems with my controller. My left trigger stopped working and because I'm snowed in, I had to wait for one to be delivered because I can't get out. I'm here now, everything's back to normal. I've had quite a few technical difficulties this week actually in my recording equipment. I decided to do its own thing for a couple of days. Annoying. Uh, so here we are, we've had the changes. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about the changes, how they work, uh, what the rewards are. If you just want to see the rewards, uh, if you skip to the last two minutes of the video, all the emblems are there. Uh, I'll show you how to apply them all, what they're all called, and how to earn them. Uh, but if you want to stick with us, we'll be speaking about the changes and my thoughts on them, basically. So, for anybody that doesn't know, New Nightfall changes came in this week. Once you complete the normal Nightfall, you drop a Tree of Probabilities emblem and a Nightfall card, challenge card. The challenge card is for the Prestige Nightfall. And basically, you can apply modifiers, uh, score mod, uh, p p power modifiers, and a singe. It's not quite a burn, but it's a singe. Power modifiers is it's a handicap. So you can take it all the way up to, you can handicap yourself up to 40. So basically, if you're a 335, you would basically, for that nightfall, be a 295. That's kind of the way I think it works. Uh, similar to that. That's a, you would handicap yourself by 40, but you would get a 3.65 score multiplier. You can have anything in between from nothing to 40. And the, mod, the, the times the score multiplier goes down or up, depending on whether you're power handicap goes down and up you can go through the prestige with no handicap and no times multiplier and just complete it like a normal prestige once you've beat it beat the nightfall on prestige it will take your score into consideration which it will show on your emblem i think my team my team have only done one run on prestige we've got sixty six thousand. that beat the the score limit so now i have I've got my aura, which is linked to my emblem, and I, I I get a bonus in that nightfall. So I get more tokens, more stuff dropping. But I had to hit the 60,000 to get that. Plus, 60,000 seems to be the score limit to get all the emblems, because I have them all, and I got 60,000. There might be, because Bungie was speaking about 80,000 being the limit. So if you can hit 80,000, there might be another one. Uh, something my team are going to have a go at we're not going to cheat like some people have we'll probably we'll do it legitimately because uh, <laughs> I don't really like the cheats uh, just some of them yeah if it's within the nightfall yeah but going outside the nightfall to get points it isn't a cheat I recognise that you're just using situation to your advantage but my team didn't see it like that so that's why we never done it and I, I, I honestly did agree with them. There are people that have had 140,000 plus, you know, from going into lost sectors and doing their thing. Uh, I would love to actually have a go at it just to see how much you could get. But my team didn't want to do that, so that's all good. Uh, I know people are going to be watching this video saying, yeah, he wanted to do it. Yeah, I wanted the high score. Of course I did. I might have a go. I soloed the prestige uh, and... Uh, you'll see in this video, it only happens for about a second or so, but my video corrupts for about a second. I don't know what's going on on my laptop, but the whole of my prestige corrupted. And because I really don't enjoy... I don't enjoy the solos because... What's the point in soloing them? What's the point in doing solos, speed runs, different subclasses? They really have kind of made... Changed my job description. So anyway, do the score. You get the 60,000 score bracket. You will now drop all the variants of the the emblems. You just have to complete more nightfalls and they drop as little legendary triangles like you know the little green triangles for the tokens drop where there's like a little legendary little purple triangle and that's your variant. Now the score the score in kind of it pays to work use masterwork weapons to drop orbs on the double kills. It's an extra every time you, you get a masterwork double kill it's an extra hundred points. The way the score works is you've got 15 minutes 
after the 15 minutes, any score you get, you'll get normal score up to 15 minutes. From 15 to 18 minutes, you'll earn half the points you were before. After 18 minutes, you won't earn any more points. But you drop six points a second. So what that equates to for anybody in 15 minutes, that's about five grand. It's 5,000 points, roughly. It's 5,040, I think. But it's just over 5,000 so I'm not sure how many points you have to earn or whether it's the minute you earn up any points that you, you stop start dropping them. Six points a second, 5,000 points in 15 minutes. So that that's that's basically the challenge. That's basically the challenge. You know, the, the other modifier is Singe, which you can put Arc Soul Avoid Syndrome. So it does a little bit more damage with that el element. But you take a little bit more damage with that element. It's not quite a burn. It's a singe. So the other two modifiers. Plus you're in prestige. It's destiny one nightfall rules. In, in, in the respects that if you die. If your whole team wipes. You go back to orbit. There's no checkpoints. In a normal nightfall. If you die. There's none of this. You stay at the same place. And then you respawn. You go back to a checkpoint. So that's the main changes for the nightfall. The only other thing I'll add, which I haven't read anything official, it just seems like the ads go down a little bit tougher. It takes a little bit longer to put them down. Uh, and you take a heap, it seems like you take more damage. So I noticed that immediately as soon as I went in. 270 strike, I was a 334 when I first went in because uh, I didn't have the Mananan. I've never had the Mananan on Xbox. So I had a three three thirty Madrugada, which is the Mananan, just a rare version. Uh, so I've never been able to be a three three five, but I never I, I couldn't produce any orbs with it because it's rare. I couldn't make it work masterwork. And when I completed this, I got a three thirty Madrugada for completing it. So I now have a three three five Madrugada. So I suppose something could come out of it. I'm not a big fan of these changes. I don't think it's really bad. It is fun to go through with your friends and it's kind of like a party game now, you know. Uh, it's not difficult, even the prestige isn't difficult, but the difficulty comes from can you find two other players, or th can, you, can you and any two other players, can you go through with the max modifier, which is really difficult. And, you know, my team done one run. I don't know if we'd have got through it with the, the max modifiers. It's something that I definitely want to keep having a go at. But it seems like we've took a step sideways. It looked, to me, it, these changes seem to come in because people didn't like the the, mod, the 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 timer, which is gone now. And when people heard about this, that it was the timer's going, it was a shame. And even Bungie's explanation mirrored what people were saying, that it's a poor substitute for, for skill. Getting through something efficiently and quickly. Isn't that skill? That, that's skill, you know, the faster you can do something, the more skilled you are at it. Because it takes less less time, and you can do it, you know, more, more precisely, faster. That's skill. Skill comes from, not all, m most skill is learned. You know, very rarely is skill something you didn't have to learn, you can just do it right off the bat. That's, you know, that's a different thing altogether, that's not skill. So they took it away to and, and you know the people that were complaining about it unnecessarily because th those nightfalls were easier than these. Now there's probably still not going to be able to solo this stuff because now you get put back to a checkpoint. So when you get to the boss and you get to the second wave and you die, you know you'll go back to start with all the weapon, all the ammo you had. If you've used all your heavy, you have no more heavy. If you've used a super, you don't have a super. And, you know, you've got to go into the boss fight with that. So what Bungie gave people who moaned in one hand, they took away in the other. Now, I know that sounds a little bit salty from me saying moaned, but too much moaning. This, it seems like Bungie does pander to people who are prepared to moan. Not constructive moan. And then use that as their argument. Well, it was a poor substitute for skill. No, that is what skill is, being able to do something quickly and efficiently. You're more skilled. I mean, I could be wrong. That might just be my view. But the, I would like to see the percentage of people that moaned about the timed nightfall. I'd like to see how many of them are actually beaten this nightfall solo. 
you know. So it would have probably been easier to ha to to bring in kind of something like right. You do have fifteen minutes to get as many points as you can, but you don't lose any. And then after the fifteen, you earn points at half the pace, but you lose points every second. And then after the eighteen, then you lose more points per second. And on a, you know, in different time blocks, the points you lose go up. But when you die on normal, you just respawn the way we did in Destiny Two. That would probably make it a little bit easier for players to do. And 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 then it would the point of people saying complaining about the timer because they couldn't go through it on their own. You know, I can't honestly believe that people couldn't beat it in teams of three, because some of these were just too easy on nightfall. There's enough videos for them to watch to see strategies. But yeah, I know we're not all no two people are alike. So as I say, I don't think we've took much steps forwards, especially since the only rewards we've been given so far have been emblems. Yeah, it's cool to have an emblem, but it's not a reward. It's it's like grimoire and collectibles. Oh, oh yeah, they're not in the game either. But it's like though, it, they're like those. They're cool things to go and get that should never have been a, a reward. As I say, the video that's coming out covers a lot of this stuff. Nightfall rewards are coming out. They were pushed back to a separate, separate update to give the designers uh, more of a chance to, to work on them. That's cool. I'm happy with that. As long as they're good. Don't come out in a couple of weeks' time going, look at this really cool linear fusion rifle that nobody uses. You know, I know we're getting all sorts of updates and all sorts of stuff. And, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how optimistic I am having seen these changes. I don't, I don't know if I am optimistic about them to be fair but hey I do have I'm not optimistic but ultimately if you were to ask me well do you think it's going to get better or don't? well I do kind of still have faith in, in the company that made Destiny 1 you know I know it's the same company but I have faith in the company that made Destiny 1 but I don't really know if I've got as much faith in the company that's made Destiny 2 you know anyway I'll leave that, that that conversation for the next video. It's going to be pretty interesting. You guys should check it out. I'll try and get it up at the end, middle of this week. Uh, in fact, I'll try and get it up. I'll try and get it done. Yeah, yeah, for the middle of this week. For the middle of this week. I was going to say, I'll try and get it done before the reset, but it's like Sunday. <laughs> I won't be getting it done before the reset. So here we are. Made it to the boss. This strategy that I'm going to tell you, because you'll do the whole thing... The whole strike you'll do differently from the way on prestige from the way you've done it on normal. But the strategy for the boss is the strategy for the boss. So when I go in here, clear the ads, and then I'm going to go and move my super. So I'm striker titan, so I'm going to hit him two grenades and then pop my super on top of him. If you're in with a team, don't get them to pop their grenades, just get them to shoot them. And then you'll clear the ads. That's the first room out the way. Now, if you now I've got the benefit of ward clipping because I'm soloing. So, anyway, it's got a problem with it. Whatever, uh, I'm soloing it. It's all good. If I was in a team, you'd be right to say something, but I'm not. Make sure you get shots on this vex mind because if you do, I don't think I did here. I think I was trying to reload my ward cliff and forgot. You get shots on him. You get three hundred points from. Him. So, two grenades. Pop my super. That is enough to make him go to his next phase, get out the room, and that gives you a chance to clear clear the ads. Now, if you're doing this on normal, and you want to know how to do it on normal, then yeah, Warcliff. Put your Warcliff on. Now, I had a couple of Warcliff. I didn't change. There's no need for me to change out to a normal rocket launcher until after I've, I've killed the yellow bar of X-Mind. So I'll kill everything in here. That yellow bar, the purple shielded yellow bar of X-Mind, He'll drop me a brick of heavy ammo. I'll pick it up with the ward cliff. As long as I've, if I've got one brick of ward cliff and I switch to a normal rocket launcher, it'll give me five rockets. If I've got two bricks, it'll give me six. So why not? In this next room, what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to have my super, is I'm going to put down a rally barricade and pop off all my rockets at him. 
my setup, uh, I used uh, Better Devils, uh, Masterworks, Curtain Call, which is Masterworks, but I also use the Warcliffe. And this is the Madrugada, which obviously it's rare. If you do have the Mananan, Masterwork it, get the orbs. Uh, same class always go on on Titan. But I used the Lion Rampant Boots all the way to the boss for the jumping through the Infinite Garden. Uh, and then I changed to uh, Insurmountable for the uh, shoulder charge ability to help me get grenades back. So as you can see, just pop all my rockets off. He's, he will blast you away, but if, you, if you're if you aware and know you've been blasted, just get just get some jumping on, and if any rockets you've got left. If I'd have hit him with five of those, I reckon he'd have went, but because he took like some splash damage instead of full damage from some of the rockets, it took all my rockets to do it. So, if you're doing this on normal, make sure, make sure to remember to switch to your war cliff again before you pick that brick of heavy ammo up. Okay, if you're on if you're on uh, if you're on prestige, you might I kept because you'll be killing everything through the infinite forest. So, so I would that's when you have to coordinate. When you're on prestige, put your curtain call on, keep it on. You've got two other guys with you. Make sure you all come into the last room. Make sure your whole team knows not to be firing off rockets for no reason. And what I would do is. First guy goes super on prestige, the other guy shoot him, it'll have the same effect. Second room, second guy goes super and the rest you shoot him. The last room, clear the ads and then all go at him. Rockets, everything. And then, because you, the guy in the first room, he'll be close to getting his super back. And the more you run about and the strategy that I use in the boss battle, it doesn't really need him to be melted. Because what you do is you run around in a circle. Clear out all the ads in the last room. As you can see, I'm just waiting to put down this 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 vex mind. In the final room, I tell my team to go in. We'll clear the ads first because the lasers don't appear in the room until you've took health off of the cabal. Valus. Now, that's the final room, not this room. The final room. So you go in. There'll be two lots of ads that come. Two cabal lots of ads. You can, if you've got three players, you could just get somebody, if you're confident with the lasers, just get somebody to go and hit them. The other two guys take help, you know, take ads out while moving about, and then the next guy takes them with rockets and blah, blah, blah. But run round in a circle, and he'll chase you. But he won't be like, chase, chase, chase. If you stay, and, and you'll see where, where I'm talking about, in one of the side bits, he'll jump down on the other side of it. That gives you an alleyway to hit him with rockets and stuff. And you've also got a pillar on both sides that... That you can use there's one right in front of me there you can use that for cover he'll if you run around a circle when he chases you he'll come down in front of you there see where those ads are he'll come down there see but you've got to get him to chase you round you can't just go straight to that point because he won't he'll he, if he's already close to you he won't go to that point so i'm just running about here clearing the ads until there's no ads now I think another another section, another lot of them come. So you, I don't know if you could see in, in at the top of the screen there. He just appeared at the top of my screen. So because I've got him at the top now, he'll just go from that top to this top. He won't come down to me. The only way he'll come down to me is if I let him get close. See, if I let him get close to me. So I've put a rocket on him. I'm running again back over the other side, taking out the eyes. And as you can see, he went back up top. I'm staying down the bottom here. And there he is. And that's the strategy. You know, I'll wait until I've cleared all the ads. I'm having a look. Here he comes. There's no other ads. There's the, the, the see that's the corruption. That's what my whole prestige looked like. So as you can see, get all my rockets off and I'm away again. Now the lasers are in, now I'll have more ads. Now, these ads, the, these these lasers can't damage you when they're yellow. But when they go red, like they're yellow there, when they go red, yeah. And especially if you've got solar syndrome, you really need to be careful. But the other thing is, they will damage those ads. They'll damage the ads. 
those ads run through them. I think in the video I actually see it when I jump up to go over the other side. There you go. It will kill the ads if they go through it. So it's, it's handy. So now I just want to clear the ads and wait to get them with my super. Now, for some reason, he broke tradition there. I don't know why, because he never normally does that. See, he normally just jumps down there and we're all good. For some reason, he took a diagonal shortcut. Now, as you can see, I went through those yellow. They were yellow, and I took no damage. It's only when they go red. Do a couple of shots on him, wanting to jump back down so I can get across to the other side. And now I think, now I choose the worst possible time to throw my grenades. Because he comes around, I still managed to do some good damage to him, but he comes around the right hand side, I hit him with grenades, which stops him. He's trying to shoot the grenades, but he wouldn't have hit me anyway because I, you know, I'm in decent cover. Now he's going to come around and I'm going to super him. The reason I said hit him with the wrong time is because it's ideal to go super when you, when he's being thingied by your grenades and now we're just going to go over the other side and then he's going to die he will come up to the he'll come to the top now as you can see from both those sides you have got cover you've got that pillar there and you've got the pillar of the other side that you can use for cover as soon as he starts to encroach on you that's when you move and there you go he's dead works the exact same way on prestige now i hope you guys have enjoyed the video uh, you're going to get to see the, the emblems and I will put out a normal Nightfall video uh, on Tuesday, hopefully, just how, how to beat the Nightfall. But starting from next week, I'm going to try and put out a prestige run with a team and try and get the highest score I can. That's the three emblems. They drop from after you beat your first prestige. If you've beat the score bracket, which is 60,000, I believe, on this one, you will drop from subsequent nightfalls after that you have a chance to drop those emblems and that is us guys uh, i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoy more of the talking videos if you don't let me know in the comments uh, uh again i apologize for not putting this out earlier but circumstances enjoy the video have a good week and i will speak to you in the next video